Hello, my name is Steve Bailey. I'd like to give you a rundown on just a few of the things that CLC does. This is a CLC meeting with all its members from all over the southern half of Northern Territory. It's a very big area, about 750,000 kilometres. There are about 90 members from all over Central Australia chosen by communities to represent them on the Land Council. Most meetings are held out in the bush, sometimes in the most remote places. The Land Council field staff cook for everyone at these meetings. They provide up to a thousand meals a day. These Land Council meetings are very important. It's the only time Aboriginal people from Central Australia get together to talk about what's on their mind and talk about some of the confusing changes that are going on in the communities these days. There's a land council office in Alice Springs and all its regions and its staff are made up of lots of different people. There are people employed for their local knowledge. Uh, we've got lawyers. My name is James Nugent. I'm one of the lawyers at the land council. And there's quite a few land council staff here. Anthropologists, geologists, land management problems. The CLC has been going for more than 30 years. What makes the Land Council strong is the Land Rights Act. I now place in the hands of the Uluru Katachuta Aboriginal Land Trust the title deeds. That's the same law that allowed Aboriginal people to get Aboriginal land back. Now half the land in our region is Aboriginal land. There are four land holding groups in the native title claim group. The CLC also works under the Native Title Act. These laws are made in Canberra, federal law. When companies want to look for minerals or do any development on Aboriginal land, they must get permission from traditional owners. It's the CLC's job to come out and talk to you, the traditional owner, about what you think of that idea. The first step is to talk to the right people. This is really important, and that's where the anthropologist comes in. The guard will talk to a lot of people and find out who are the right people who can talk for that bit of land. This avoids any disputes further down the track. Any agreements signed are safe. People need to be fully informed about what companies want to do so they can make a decision on their land, whether they will allow it or not. If you say yes, the CLC will write up an agreement with that company. Sometimes they say no. There may be too many sacred sites on that land. And they don't want people running around in there. There has been a lot of mining in Central Australia and the CLC has worked hard to help people get jobs in the mining industry. And now they have more than 80 people working in the mining industry in and around Central Australia. I got this job through CLC. I was on trial for three months. Now I'm with HWE, full time with Backfill. Another one of CLC's jobs is to help people manage their land. The CLC helps people with issues like fire management, feral animal control, protecting endangered species, national parks, tourism. Planning for Indigenous protected areas. Recording Indigenous ecological knowledge so that this can be passed on from generation to generation. What do you 
and helping people run their country as cattle stations. A really exciting development is our ranger groups working out in the bush. These jobs provide employment where there are a few jobs and they are very popular. We're just doing a little survey on this water hole here. I love to be working for CLC and I'm glad to be a ranger because I really want to look after my own countryside. Worked there now, it's three years. What's going to like him now with job? Then we have to pull over and all the money to the trip. Push over. Put it in the game, and get him out. I'll turn on A really important part of CLC's work now involves community development, letting Aboriginal people decide what they want to do on their communities. Because they got this land, they have now been able to take another step forward. They now spend a good proportion of the money they receive in gate and rent fees for the community development initiatives in their community. Years ago, you know, traditional owners from all the Karajura, they came up with an idea, you know, to start a um, community development project. And it's a good one because it's helping a lot of other, you know, communities, small air stations, government, all the rent, this store at Inmanfa made a big difference to the people of the community. It looks a bit flasher than the other one that we had. It is a really good thing that they did that, yeah, to make it better for the whole community. Anang was money on Anang was land and we wanting to use that money to spend it up in a good way. To make a better lifestyle for people to live in, you know. Make it good for you know our young people, you know for the future, their well-being, health, feeling good about themselves. The Central Land Council has been working very closely with Yapa on the Walpri Education and Training Trust since 2005. The local people talk about and decide how they want to spend their royalties to make their communities better. There for Walbury community, Lajamani, Yendame, Willara and Nyirpi. This money comes from royalty from Newman and we use this money for education for Walpuri people. I am really happy and really proud of what is happening for our Walpuri kids and through our Walpuri communities and through Walpuri schools. These career really are helping us and supporting us and we are all working together to make this Walpuri Education Training Trust happen for Walpuri. 
looking for. You won't get you. With help from the CLC, communities in Central Australia are investing for a better future.